Okay, YouTubers, I'm gonna do a quick video on this uh, MFJ 1700C. Uh, it's a multi-transmit antenna switch. And uh, you can see on the top part of the 1700C, you can have up to six antennas. Uh, they're labeled one through six. And on the bottom part, uh, you can have up to uh, A through A, same six uh, transmitters too. They're labeled A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, what's nice about this is there also is a COM port on both the antenna side and a COM port over on the transmit side. Effectively, the COM port on the antenna side links uh, antennas one through six, and the COM port on the transmitter side will link all your radios A, B, C, D, E, F. Let me turn that down. And okay, so what's nice about the switch is that uh, you can have up to six antennas and you can share those antennas among multiple radios. In my case, I've got uh, uh, ICOM, Kenwood, Yezu, uh, up to six radios, and I've got uh, several different ones here. And so I can switch among the radio that I want to use at any given time and then make a selection of the antenna that I want to use. Now the uh, COM ports and all uh, are what it allows the sharing. And I'm gonna go back in a minute and I'll show you how to connect all this in line because what I'm doing is also sharing an HF auto tuner and my PALSTAR LA1K amp. And because you may want to do that, I'll show you how to make those connections to make it easy for you. So I can essentially, no matter what selection or what radio I choose, I'm able to use my HF auto tuner and I have the amp in line so I can use it too. So let me, uh, let me go around the backside and forgive me. I'm, I pulled the table out and such, and I'm doing some old modifications to clean up, but, uh, this might be helpful to you to show you actually how you connect this up, uh, the right connection. So you can see my antennas coming in. It's, uh, I'm in the process of reorganizing, but essentially uh, I have uh, uh, six antennas here, different types from uh, loops, uh, bazookas, uh, dipoles, to various type, vertical. Um, and I've got them labeled on a uh, different piece of paper. And then I've got uh, four radios connected. Again, uh, the Yezu, the Kenwoods, the ICOM, so forth. And uh, that's uh, pretty straightforward. I'll show you that in just a minute. But let's talk about these COM ports for a minute because that's what you might be interested in if you decide you want to put inline and share like an auto tuner or something. So let's look at this COM port here first on the antenna side. And you can see it's labeled COM for common here. So now if I follow that cable down, you'll see I bring that down and I have that actually in the, in the uh, coax one uh, on my HF auto. So it's the output side of the HF auto here. And so that allows then me or all of my antennas to basically use this HF auto tuner by using that COM port. So no matter which antenna I select, it's now in line and I can use the HF auto tuner. Okay, now, okay, so look over here on the other side here and I've got RF here on the uh, HF auto tuner also and it's the input side. And if you were to follow that cable, you can see that cable comes around here and comes up and plugs into the amp side. And over here on the amp side, you can see it's in the antenna one port here. If you can see that. Now I may need to get a light, or let me see. Okay, yeah, it's in the antenna one port there. All right, so coming out over here on the COM port of the radio side, it's also labeled COM. If you were to follow that, uh, here you'll see it comes around and it goes all the way over and it comes in on the RF input of the amp 
And that is the connection that allows me to do the sharing then now of the amp among the various transmitters, the radios, you know, so. So again, the common port here basically allows the RF uh, for the uh, LA1K amplifier uh, and among the radios I select. And then in the antenna, I've done the selection so that they can all equally share the HF auto. All right, now for the radio, notice here, uh, this is radio F, it's labeled F. If you follow that cable, you see it goes right here into antenna one of the FTDX 5000 here. And that's the way you connect your radios. You'll basically take a, a, basic, a basically a piece of coax, a patch cable, and you'll go from each one to your antenna port on your respective radio. Now the last thing to do, most of you uh, know that to key the amp, you use the, uh, you have to ground it. Uh, so uh, I've got a RCA jack or a band version that's used in Kenwood or Icom. And they all end in a RCA type jack like this. And what you can do is you can buy a four to one or you can buy any combination. And uh, I've got a product that's sold on eBay by Radio Dan. It lets you plug multiple RCA jacks into it. And it's not just a Y adapter. I mean, it has protections and stuff. And it allows you then to uh, key to ground your amp for many of the radios. And uh, in my particular one, it, it will service up to four radios, which I have. And then the Kenwood uh, line, you've got also, the same, it's a little bit different data cable that comes out, but they all end up eventually terminating in that same RCA jack and the ICOM also. So, and you can see here, the ICOM one comes down here also. It's more, it looks more like a data. Whereas on the ASUS and all, it's just a RCA to RCA type chat. But anyway, this, now I've been using this here for the uh, past several days and it's worked flawless. Now they do tell you don't switch these while you're transmitting or anything. So I'm very careful. And I pretty much uh, select the radio I'm going to use at any given time. And uh, that's the radio I use. And then uh, I do switch among the antennas. It's been interesting to switch among them and see which one gives me a better receive and so forth and transmit. All right, so again, let me go back around one last time and let you see again what I'm talking about. Hopefully this is helpful to you if you decide to buy something like that MFJ. It really does help cl clean up the clutter of the cables, bring them into a central box. This is, by the way, legal limit, 1500 watts, so you're good to go there. But you can see again across the bench here, there are multiple radios, multiple antennas, all sharing the Alto tuner and the Power Star amp. Well, you can use any amp, any configuration, whatever you choose. So anyway, 73 to everybody. Hopefully, hopefully this is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.